Okay, YouTube. So, what can I tell you about this this project? So, this is the the G two paint system. I think it's G two. Um, bought it for about fifty bucks. Um, for fifty dollars, I would I would I would give it a fair rating. Um, see, I have a little bit of over over paint here. Poor me. I'm gonna try and see what I can do to get this off. Um, I taped it up. I taped up, you know, some of the rubber spots. Um, and then I just went ahead and paint. There's nothing hard. What I would tell you to do, the cleaning is most of the work. I think I spent maybe a day cleaning. Wire brushes. I even used a Dremel and all of that. And it's still not perfect, right? Oh, crap. Wow. Okay, this is heavier than I thought. <laughs> Let's switch hands. Ouch. Let's switch hands. Oh, spin this around. All right, so you notice that I didn't paint everything. I left it inside, but I painted the edges. I was trying to paint just what you will be able to see, you know, when, when the caliper is, is put on. I would tell you, you have to have some method to how you paint because the best way to paint these things is if it was completely off the car. Um, I was trying to paint it while the calipers were set up, meaning didn't disconnect anything. I realized I wouldn't have gotten a good enough job that way. So I, I disassembled it as far as I was willing to go. Anything further means I'd have to um, take the brake line off and then completely bleed the system again. I could have done that, didn't want to do that. Why does this look so funny here? Hold on. Why does this, why does this culpa boot look so funny? Yeah, the culpa boot does look like a little bit recessed more than the other. Um, yeah, I'll take a check into that later. Anyways, um, so that's that. I guess you'll see when, when I finish, put it up. Um, Okay, so how you painted, um, you f I, I first had to decide when I'm done painting, how would I cut the caliper? How would I leave the caliper? And I decided that this is how the caliper would set. Now, because this is how the caliper is going to set, because, you know, I have nowhere to hang it. I, I realized that it's going to be touching here. So this part needs to be painted before here. So that this part under here can get a little bit of drying time. It's not much, but it will help. Right? And, and then you need to figure out where am I going to be holding the caliper to maneuver it as I paint. Um, so I decided that I would maneuver my hands here and here. So these sections here were the last sections to be painted as well as here. Because that's where I will be holding. Does that make sense? So I have to paint to the back first. Paint to the back. Paint to the back. Then I... When I paint to the back, what do I do next? Um, I think I painted... No, I didn't paint there. Then I flipped it over. Oh, yeah. Which is weird. Flipped it over. Then I painted this edge here. All the way you can see, except where my hand is holding. See, painted the edge, painted the edge, painted the edge, uh, and I painted this edge first because this is the part that I know will, will touch the plastic when I'm done. So I painted that and tried to give it some drying time. Then I paint up here, then I paint here, then I paint here, then I try to paint inside of the corners here, but not this side. Remember, that's the side I'm, I'm holding. Um, and not this side because that's the side I'm holding, right? And I painted inside here, that's over that side, All right? Yep, painted there, but again, not this side which I'm holding. Then I turned it over, I already knew that it's going to mess up this side of the paint a little bit. Um, I wasn't going for perfect, friends. I was not going for perfect. See, look at this, I even have some bristles in it, it is what it is. You have to remember that this will be hidden behind your wheels. So the bright red will show enough 
No one is coming down to inspect it. I'm like, oh. So then I turned it over like this. And I painted everything else here. And I painted up in this corner here. As a matter of fact, I think when I was around here. Yeah, I'm lying. I'm lying. When I paint, when I when I, when I was around here, I did paint up in up in this corner as well too. Um, yep, painted up in there, paint up in there. Then I flipped it over. Flipped it over, and then I find a position where it's gonna catch, and it's not gonna move. Then I just painted this top piece here and left that. Similar with the rear. Um, you wanna paint? You wanna first figure out, hey. When I'm done painting, how is the caliper going to, going to sit? Where am I going to leave it in its position to rest? And I decided that, um, I think I had to take these off. These weren't holding it here. So this was cut over here. And of course there was a bag here. You just as well you have the bag there. There's a bag on all four wheels. I just kind of took it off already. And just kind of did that. Um, again, is it perfect? No, it's not. But I think it's good enough for $50. But it's a lot of work. No joke. It's a lot of work. Um, I'm just kind of showing you how it came out for me. Um, I don't know if I'll do this project again. It took me so much time. So oh, this, this one shows how, how I ended up catching the, the rear caliper at the end. So because this part is going to be touching, you know, Make sure you kind of paint this a little bit early enough so it can start to get a little bit of drying time. Um, I painted the back part of this first um, by holding the front and just rotating it all around. Make sure I have the back completely covered. And then I had to paint these sections that would be a little bit difficult to get to. And then I painted this part, you know, which will catch and then all of that. So that, that, that just shows you what it looks like. You know, I'm just kind of showing you what how it came out. And there's that. It's not perfect. See, look at that. That's the inside of the caliper anyways. Um, I'm hoping when it turn, how it's supposed to turn, you won't be able to see that. I don't know. There's no guarantee. Who cares? <laughs> really and truly, who cares? But it is what it is. It's a $50 product. Um, what else can I show you? Then this is the caliper bracket and the clips. Did these come out perfect? <sighs> no, they did not. And then because I had newspaper here, when I painted, look at this, look at this damage here. But, oh, so I decided that I'm going to set the caliper down because the caliper had to be set in such a way that it, ha it had to have a spot where, where you're going to leave it, right? And it's newspaper. So because this part bolts up, I decided that this is the part I would set down. Does that make sense? Okay, so how I painted this, I started with the corners here, started with the corners here, right? Then I flipped it over and I painted here. Painted here, give the stem a little bit to dry. Then I painted here, painted here, painted here. And then I sent it back over here. So now it's sitting on the newspaper and that's why it has some little newspaper residue here. I guess I could rub it, rub it, rub it. I don't know what I could use to get it off. I'm going to try and maybe rub it with some degrees and get it off. Yeah, I'm going to do that next. And then I paint it here. But I wanted any imperfections in the paint to be on this side because this is where it bolts up. So this is the part you would never see because this is where it bolts up. Make sense? So I tell you all of that so you can think through your project. Of course, ideally... If you took everything off and had it hanging, hanging on like maybe a, a string or a line or something, that way you could walk around it, I think that would give you best results. Once you have to set it down on something, then yeah, you're going to have some issues. It's going to smudge somewhere. Then, what, else, what else did I want to say to you guys? Um, oh, the paint time. Friends... Um, the instruction says you need to get it painted, um, within four to six hours. Um, uh, I, I, I think I went as fast as I did, as fast as I, as I could. 
and it was still a lot of time pressure for me. Um, I ended up getting three coats on the front. So the front caliper bracket, the front caliper bracket, and the front calipers all have three coats. The rear only have two coats. Um, I was not able to get a third coat on it. As a matter of fact, when I did two two coats and I was trying to come around again, um, in my mind, I said to myself, there's no way I'm going to be able to finish three coats. So I took a decision to do the front and then, um, and I was right because the paint hardened, um, to make it almost impossible to finish. I started my paint at the rear left and my idea was, okay, I'm going to paint this. I know that front are bigger calipers, clearly, right? So I was saying, I'm going to start with the rear, then I'm going to go over that rear, then I'm going to go to the front, then I'll go to the front. And then by the time I did all of this, it would have been about 15 minutes, because I think it needs about 15 minutes to dry before you can do a second coat. But I kid you not, to do all of that, um, I think it took me about an hour. Because <laughs> when I was finished, when I, when I was finished the entire thing, it took me five and... Five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. So that shows you how much the paint was practically hardened. It is what it is. Um, I take my losses. I, I don't think it's a loss. It's it's a fifth hour product. Um, it took a lot of time. But I guess when I fit it back up, you will see the finished product. And that's it. What else can I tell you about this? Oh, the next step is I'm actually going to ceramic coat it. I do, I do have some ceramic coat. Um, I had ceramic coated my rims and I have a lot left in this spot. I don't know if you can see. See? I do have a lot left in there. So I'm going to ceramic coat um, this as well. I'm not going for perfection, just to be clear. So it is what it is. It's just bricks. Who cares? Going to ceramic coat it and then move on. Um, that's it. I'm pretty sure this video is boring to you guys, but keeping you updated with the project. And it is what it is. Bye-bye.